One of the best ways we can train our ears is to learn how to recognize intervals. And as we've talked about, an interval is just the distance between two pitches. And if you think about all music, every melody is just a series of intervals. Think about this melody. All that melody is, if we think about it carefully, is just a series of intervals. It starts off with the interval of an octave, this jump in pitch of one octave. The next little bit of the melody starts with a jump in pitch of a sixth. The next bit of the melody starts with a jump in pitch of a perfect fourth. Now you'll notice there, I was just able to play that music. I, I'll let you into a secret that I don't have the music for Somewhere Over the Rainbow sitting in front of me. The reason I was able to play it is I know where those notes are on my piano keyboard because I know the jump in pitch that I need to go to find the next note. And that is why training our ears to recognize intervals and understand how the intervals are set out on our instruments is so useful because suddenly we don't need music anymore. We can start to play from ear, we can start to hear things on the radio and write them down or play them on our instruments. So hopefully you don't need that much convincing that learning to recognize intervals is a really fantastic skill to learn. But how do we go about actually making some progress and becoming sensitive to the quite sometimes very small differences in pitch that we hear in music? Well, like any form of ear training, the way that we improve is just through practice, practice, practice. We need to really train our ears to become more and more sensitive to differences in pitch. I suppose the equivalent of what we're doing here is a bit like training our eye to become more sensitive to shades of red. I imagine if I showed you a load of shades of red, at first they'd just kind of all look red. They would look like the same colour. But if I helped you to practice and I showed you different stages and I introduced different colors of red over time I think probably after a while and after lots and lots of practice you would actually become slightly more sensitive to the different shades of red as they ran from dark to light and that's essentially what we're going to do here I'm going to introduce a set of intervals one by one and we're going to build up this different range of intervals that you're able to recognize they won't come straight away at the beginning you will find it really hard and in fact i still find this really hard sometimes intervals completely catch me out there's one that just happens to sound different for some reason and i don't recognize it straight away so don't be disheartened but we're going to take it nice and easy and enjoy this process of developing our sense of musical pitch by the way, before we get started, just a quick recommendation. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I would really, really encourage you to come and follow this series on my website, daveconservatoire.org. You'll get all the same videos that you get here on YouTube, but you'll also get lots and lots of interactive exercises to go with them. So when we've talked about something and I've introduced you to something, you'll be able to go ahead and instantly practice that skill. And I feel like that's the best way to make some progress in this area. So if you're watching on YouTube, I would just hop over to my website and then we can get started making this journey learning to recognize intervals.